second definition was for minimum value ok. So, now we have minimum or a relative minimum value of a function in its domain. Now, how we have defined the definition now let <coughs> let f be a function defined on an defined on an interval i then then what it was in the definition what we have written earlier for the maximum it was f x 0 is greater than is equal to f x now f x 0 will be less than is equal to f 0 ok. <coughs> the function f is said to have a minimum a minimum or relative minimum ok minimum or relative minimum in an interval i in i if there exists if there exists a point x 0 a point x 0 such that such that f x 0 is less than is equal to f x for all values of x belongs to i ok. So, this was the condition for the minimum part ok. So, now let us go for an example. <coughs> consider a function f x is equal to now suppose we are having a function x square plus 10 we are having a function x square plus 10 now domain of function is equal to set of all the real numbers or we can write it r is equal to negative of infinity to positive of infinity or you can just leave it you can write it infinity only for negative infinity to infinity naturally it means a positive sense. Now x square is greater than is equal to 0 for all values of x belongs to r. Now x square plus 10 is greater than is equal to 10 for all values of x belongs to r. Now, what x square plus 10 is the given question the given function ok. So, now we can write it f x is greater than is equal to 10 or 10 is less than is equal to f x. Now, what should be the value of x? can we write like this f 0 is less than is equal to f x because we are having x square plus 10 x square plus 10 and x is equal to 0 makes it 0 plus 10 that is 10. So, now again can we compare this one f x 0 is less than is equal to f x x belongs to interval here f 0 is less than is equal to f x for all values of x belongs to the domain ok. Now, what we can write it we can write it the minimum value of f of f is what f 0 is equal to 10 here when we are putting f 0 we are getting the value as a 10. So, the minimum value of f is f 0 is equal to 10 and the point of minimum value
is at x is equal to 0. Now, we are having the this definition part. Now, let us move for the graph. Now, what graph says? Now, graph says, let us use this space. Now, graph says if we are having Okay, let me use this space only. Now, this is the graph. Now, what we are having the points x is equal to 0. So, at 0, we are having 10 as a point. So, this one is 10. So, now our graph can move like this. Okay, so what this is? This is 0. It is the origin 0 and this is 0 comma 10, we are having this point 0 and 10 is the minimum point, 10 is the minimum value f at 0 is 10. So, 0 is 10 and this graph is for fx is equal to x square plus 10, it is for x square plus 10. So, this can be the graph, okay, for the minimum part just equivalent to this one. Here it was x0, this is a point x0, this is fx, again at this is the point at 0 it is 10 okay so like this we can move for the graphical point and example